to try and lock down this AM long enough, right? Because you do have lift into Arrow, you can still Doom, even Split Earth, like lift into Split Earth might be enough, but you you need some follow-up to it. Yeah, you, you definitely do. And we've got to see, again, when, when you think about game two, it does feel like Cactus executed better than LR and R. So in that sense, even if this lineup can be a bit harder to pull off, I think Cactus is a team that is maybe slightly more favored to actually pull that off, right? Like this is a team that can do it. For LR and R, again, it's an issue of them fixing some of their small mistakes gameplay-wise. Like they, they were kind of giving out a little bit too many kills. They were a bit too far forward in some circumstances. This is a lineup that can just double down in that here as well. TZY already getting chased down on the toss, but is going to be okay. Big can. And I'm pretty sure he already knows there's no way to lock him down at level 1. Though he'd rather not skill blink if he can avoid it, so we'll back his way out. I think they're going to have to give up this bounty rune anyway. No way you can find a level 1 undying. That decay is just way too powerful. The Y, he's going to travel onto the other side of the map and just make sure he tries to secure the other. And he gets away with it. So a 2 for 2 trade. Nice little even start here between these two teams. And we'll start off with the mid lane as usual, shall we, Jonathan? Uh, you're going to have real here on the left track. He's going to be up against butterflies. We are watching a devourer from Y. Does get away with the creep. But the SF versus the left track matchup, I believe you already said you don't believe the left track can really lose the lane. Uh, so we'll, I, I suppose we'll have to wait and see what happens. Again, this is still a pretty good lane for SF. You can walk up, harass out, try to land all your raises. At the same time, the Leshrac does have some counterplay, like the stun to combo break. And down the line, you've got the Lightning Storm or the Diabolic Edict to punish a deep chase. But this is still a little bit easier for the SF. It's down to rune control as well. Who does get to top of their bottle, pick up the early water runes, does generally feel better. And again, that's where LR and R theoretically shines. They've got the same support duo of Tiny and Marana. And these two can collapse on mid very nicely. So that is something that you will have to respect here on Cactus. Yeah, I mean, so far, the Butterfly Effect's doing a really good job. It's already got quite a few uh, Necromancery stacks going for himself. And what well, we are seeing real kind of struggle to last here at the moment is. Well, top lane, Big Can and Bocce against Fish King, and of course, TZY. I think for TZY, like, it's all going to be about the lane shenanigans, right? Like, you just don't want to have to go up against the AM if you can avoid it. You'd much rather just keep pulling the creep wave and just farm securely. Is the AM, like, sure, you can pressure, but chances are Big Can is just going to free farm this laning stage. So you may as well just secure your own farm if you can as his task. Yeah, just try to get that build up. I mean, if you do want to be aggressive, it's like the first two levels are when you can really get that done I'm against the AM, but with a Rubik support, it just doesn't feel like the easiest thing to do. So you're just going to have to accept that Big Can will be able to find some decent build up here into his Vanguard. Trying to punish Bocce a bit, but it does still have the two leaps to bail out of safety. That should lead to a fun time for Big Can. Like, you are seeing the same reflect for Summer. The Monkey King isn't being pressured out either, and he does have quite a fair few more denies under his belt. It's just the nature of the Doom versus Monkey King. Like, Doom just cannot pressure that lane at all. And Wenhao is just trying to get the pulse every single time to give themselves that lane advantage. They are yeah, collapsing so two waves onto the small camp, though. But they are. I suppose That's three range creeps. Really... What? It is two range creeps, what? actually, now that you say it. It's three. It's three of them. They're all just chasing around. They're not playing the lanes at all. They're breaking <laughs> the lanes here. What? I mean, that, that's what you want as lonely rock and roll, though, right? Like, you don't want to lane against the MK. So if you can split things up like this, this is m much more preferable, for sure. And uh, they're getting away with it. That is a huge creep wave that they are still just dragging around. It is, of course, going to push back the way of Cactus anyway, so all this farm is going to come back into the loving hands of Summer. But now Y can kind of feel protected in the sense that he knows that there's a huge creep wave so they can play like this. They'll move in onto Jiamu. But he's going to be okay to back his way out as he's dropped the tombstone. When how now the one in trouble? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he certainly is. I mean, you can make the dive like that, but it is still an undying you're diving against. 
That's never fun. Yeah, it's an it's an undying. Your two melee heroes with not the best attack speed to clear out a tombstone. And Summer, I mean, he he just does his job well. Positions himself quite right. Avoids the avalanche. Gets the Jingu up. Gets the boundless to stall. That's more than enough time. Like he's he's been finding every range creep. You're not being able to deny too well here. Like the lane's just so so much easier for a cactus to play on. And outside of just breaking that lane with the pullets, which doesn't also pan out all too well for LRNR, you don't have much you can do here for the side of LRNR. They do man at least manage to rotate onto mid a little bit. They secure themselves water ruins, so no top up for butterfly effect. And they are dragging Wen Hao in for a flank. Uh, That's a thing, like, if, if there's one thing you can really compliment uh, Lonely Rock and Roll on, their support duo is always trying to shut down mid. Butterfly Effect, he's been copying it this whole series. This time around, he's much more, you know, privy to it. He, he's aware that they're probably going to rotate like this. And so he is just continuing to try and dominate the lane as real is really starting to struggle to the raise spam and butterfly. And I think this is probably the most important game for the support of Lonely Rock and Roll to try and make these ganks happen. But again, I, I think as long as Butterfly Effect has it in the back of his mind that they're coming, he should be okay. And for now, he's even got Ju Me just hanging around with him on the Undying. Yeah, they're ready. They've got the Tombstone ready to go there as well. So they can kind of make some plays in a forced dive. Gonna be a little bit longer until the power runes up, but again, you're leaving this tiny connected to mid, which means your bot lane's super free. The Marana's forced to kind of, kind of come in, try to make this worth your time, but gonna try. Nice arrow. It did land with the back of the tossbacks. They do secure the kill, but now Jumi trying after real needs one or two more hits, but I think he's diving a bit too deep. He's not gonna be able to find him. Tries to decay the courier. That's not going to work either, Jumi. You'll get out of there. And so eventually the support rotation does once again pay off against Butterfly. Yeah, they, they shut him down. Again, it, it does cost a lot of heroes, but you get the kill in the end. So you're more than happy. You might find a bonus there as well. Just a bit of a deny off. Oh, here we go. Oh, we've seen this before. Oh, oh no. Boy. He gets caught again. This is exactly what happened in game one. And the exact same tips uh, coming out. Oh. Yeah. And you know, Butterfly, he's tipping right now, telling real, like, you can't even 1v1 me. I don't know what he's trying to say right. there, but I can almost guarantee it's along the lines of 1v1 me. Stop bringing your supports in like this. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what every mid loves to cry about. I've seen that many a times, <laughs> especially in my five stacks. Like my mid player, he's, he's such a friendly guy, but when he plays mid and gets ganked, he's like, oh my God, my team's terrible. They're not helping me. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Avalanche toss is there. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to be okay, John. I, I won't hear any excuses from you again if you don't want to party with me, considering now that I know you have some toxic mid player as well as your friend. Ah, well. <laughs> That's why I've been playing Turbo now with my other friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no escape, is there, John? There's just no, no there's escape. No escape. There's no escape. Speaking uh, of escapes, Mike, I actually can't reconnect to the game, so I'm watch. I mean, I'm still watching, but I'm just letting you know. I, I actually can't establish a connection. <laughs> oh, congratulations. <laughs> Turns out you could escape. Well done, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to restart my game, but yes. This is a great start for LRNR. One to treat or trying it again. Butterfly yeah. effect. I mean, oh, they're, they're going to find a undying instead. Jumi actually gets the stick charges, does drop the tombstone. In comes Fish King. They really want the left rack if they can afford to take him. In comes Summer. He's got a balance available. He'll land it. And they do punish heavily for the rotation that Lonely Rock and Roll have made. They've even got one more. The zombies are still going. When Hal could not God. escape the grasp of this undying. To land a decent avalanche, but it's not going to matter. Fish King will take a double. Yeah, two for the king. Um, they get that punishment. You even get that individual kill coming up for butterfly effect on Bachi. So they're recovering well. 
Like they're forcing these skirmishes out on LR and R, but it's like what we said in the last game. Like it's a little bit too forced sometimes. <laughs> and there you go again. Bocci, he gets some wards down, but he dies immediately because TZY and Fish King were just waiting. Is why he's actually going to pop a Doom here. Scorched Earth was stolen. Deny attempt from TZY. He's just going to try and keep up. Snowball, it's going to buy some time. Summer is there to back them up. The Rubik, still alive. Might die to the neutrals. Oh, the Dark Troll Summoner woke up. Yeah. The Scorched Earth woke it up. That is, that oh. is just so unfortunate for LR and R. They need That's every tragic. little pickup they can get. They're not, they're not able to really trade. And the one big benefit they are getting is this free lane for Big Can. Like your AM is farming up nicely, has the Vanguard up, very well protected now uh, from any potential jump onto him. But you've sacrificed your Lech and your Doom to a, a pretty great extent, especially your Doom. Like that's not a hero you normally see at this position in terms of net worth, but it's just been a really rough lane into uh -oh. like a really rough time. Real being chased. TZY does land the shards. Needs the backup though, because Big Can is there to follow up. Is TZY still going? Nice mana void, but it's not enough. They will get the left track as TZY. He might drop here, but he is still running. Still trying to make it out. But when Hal cuts him off with the avalanche, ensures he goes down. Jumi now maybe going a little bit too far here on the Undying, but he does have someone to back him up. Big Can lift up, but we'll have the blink. He's going to be just fine. Not a bad trade though. Like that's your pole three going down for a position two less track. I still think you overall call that a win for the side of Cactus. And uh, well, you've also given Blink away here to, to Fish King, right? So now you've got this initiation constantly going on for this Rubik. And that's probably going to be a, a very standard thing this game. Just to blink into the lift every single time. You're going for more. I mean, why not? Bottom lane, why is gone? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Top. Summer. Oh, he dodges the arrow Ooh. just barely. Finding a little crevice in the tree line. In fact, I believe he quelled the tree himself to allow him that space. And he will make it out. Dyer's Time. Eight to five. One K lead still up here for Cactus and L R and R. It, it, it's it's just so awkward, right? Like their their issue is they're kind of just committing moments. They're going farming solo. They're not respecting this gank potential that comes out from Cactus early on. Like again, Cactus has this tempo draft. They need to play fast, and they are clearing out mid already shards. at eleven and a half minutes. They're not gonna find the shards that they wanted to win hell, but they're gonna find a tier one mid tower. And Real's really gonna back off though. Instead, they make the jump in on the tiny. And TZY, he is hitting like an absolute truck right now with that Walrus Punch, taking down Wen Hao. That's kind of the thing with the Tiny, John. Like, he's not level 6 yet, so he's still got zero base armor. That Walrus Punch, it is just doing way too much damage to him. He just melts. When the tag team's up, you just fall apart. You don't, you're not even being affected by the presence of the Dark Lord just yet. And, oh, oh. We can. The snowball's Ooh. gonna reveal his position. Oh, oh no! The tree goes down. It may not matter. Big Cat, another jump away. Summer, he's there in the faithful. Ooh. It's gonna be enough. That was so oh. close to being just a disgusting situation for Cactus. <laughs> that could have been really, really bad. Uh, one of those unfortunate things where, you know, your, your snowball fades, it crushes a tree. It just so happens to be your cores. Maybe you should have taken him into the snowball as well. Oh, but my. Yeah, it works out in the end. I mean, they are really returning the favor. Cactus not slowing down whatsoever. We'll find why. That's your doom gone once again, as he has at least picked up his Midas before he does die. But now the chase for Wenhao. Eventually, he knows he's just going to... Oh, I say that. Pings out. TZY ran the wrong way. He's got snowball up now, but he's still barely out of range. There you go. He does find it eventually. Uh, quite a bit of time being wasted, though, by Wen Hao. Does buy him, his team a little bit of time to, to get something going across the map. Yeah, it gets them some time, but they lose their top tier one on top of that. So your top four jungle's a little bit more exposed now from LRNR. A little bit easier for Cactus to farm up in that area. 
with the mid missing as well. You've got the blink up on TZY, so more jump potential now to catch that slippery little AM. We want easier to follow through on that control. Summer's ready to make Jimmy. a play here. Oh, Doom is out onto the undying. Uh, I mean, they really want the fight. Arrow's going to be juked out. Y is just down. And now with the walrus punch, Big Can's gone. Oh, God. I mean, I, I appreciate you don't want to have the tombstone committed. But I, I don't know if that's the target. It's real. Bottom lane is being chased. TZY, he's just all across the map, but they don't have the dust. No detection available here for the Moonlight Shadow. So Real is going to be able to get out. They do eventually find the tier one bot tower. A TZY trying to see if he can get himself out now, but no, never mind Summer. He wants to go again. Walrus Punch is there. Wukong's command out as well. Real's in huge trouble. Oh, they no. might lose TZY, or maybe they don't. Maybe they just don't. Is Wen Hao. Wen Hao will also go down here to Summer. A double kill for the MK. And they are still going. Oh my they'll god. Strike out. No. They'll right click. They'll take down a third. Triple kill for Summer. No, that is that is just sickening. They walk into range of the sentry while they're in lane. And then that's the immediate turnaround. And that's the point. They come back in, they get the punishment out, and they clean up in such a beautiful way coming out here for the side of Cactus. LR and R. I mean, this draft, it's... I, I don't even know if it's like a better scaling draft. It feels like it's also kind of tempo based. Like AM is, it, he's not that hyper carry ultra late game hero anymore. It doesn't feel like, like it just doesn't scale in that same way. It scales with an advantage and you don't, you don't have that right now on your AM. Your Doom is still working up with the Midas going into the BKB. You're gonna need way more than just that afterwards as well. It's a long process to kind of get that build up you need. And you're at the point where Cactus invades out the top jungle. Bocci's gone, big can. Lift oh, up, the it's there as well. He's still all right. He's still running, but TZY right behind him. Big can in such big trouble. So Kingfish, he, he's got ensnare that he took from the Doom. Yep. So why gave ensnare away from a neutral creep? Yep. And it's such a strong spell against the AM. It is. It's, it's probably the best spell you could ask for. Quite frankly, especially <laughs> since you've got the Aether Lens up, you've got max out Arc almost max out Arcane Supremacy. Roche doesn't take too long as well. With the physical output you do have with Butterfly Effect and the tag team going on top of that. First Roche of the game going the way of Cactus cleanly. LR and R. This gambit with the AM, it doesn't feel like it's paying off. Like he's rushing, he's rushing Radiance here, Mike. We're, we're getting a AM Radiance yeah. build. And the timing just feels off. Like if this was like a 15 minute Radiance, I would be down for it. But that's like a perfect game for AM. This is far from a perfect game so far for Big Can. Well, that, that was what I was going to say, and kind of follow up to your point you were just making earlier, right? Like, you pointed out the fact that the AM's not going to be like that ultra late game kind of carry we're used to. And then I looked at his item build, and I'm like, yeah, he's definitely not going to be that. No, with this kind of item build, he's not. It's mid lane. They are going to find Wen Hao once again. Cactus just proving that they're the better team here in game number three. But yeah, I mean, this AM build-up, like, I don't see what it's going to do. They are really needing a carry this game. And he's not going that pure POS 1 style of carry. No. It, it's more like a POS 3 AM at this point. Yeah, it, it does look a lot more like that. I mean, the Radiance, again, it, it has some uses here up against the physical output of this lineup. I just don't think you're the highest EHP hero to maximize a Radiance on the AM. Maybe just more for farm, just clear out these waves faster, jumping around. But then you'd probably be better off with just a Battle Fury instead. Like, it's yeah. it's an interesting pick, and I, I don't know how they're going to make it work, but there is potential for it to work. It's just, it's uncharted territory. Like, they have to adjust heavily on how LR and R execute to make that happen, which, again, is their biggest issue. Their execution's just slightly off the mark, and that's more than enough for Cactus to find these openings. Four heroes top lane. Oh, Summer, Summer? He's gonna jump right into the. What is the. Summer, no! What? <laughs> oh, 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 Summer. It may not matter. When Hal's gone, they'll still fight underneath the tombstone. Shard's not gonna lock in real. But why? Why is in big trouble on the Doom once again? Oh. A nice bit of the real. Gonna try and turn it around. But Butterfly Effect's incoming. They need to get out. 
and they will. But had Salmon not just casually <laughs> died on the Monkey King, <laughs> that, that could have been a huge team fight. Yeah, that's that's what I would say. Uh, you know, when, when you turn to your team and you just say, hey, "We do a little trolling, we do a little trolling," yeah. you know, get a bit too excited, get punished for it, but still, the smoke could be big, real one. Uh, real, real. Run the other way, sir. Oh, never mind. Sadly for him, he was on the division, so they had plenty of information that the Leshrac was farming Triangle, and he is uh, he is going to drop once again. Yeah, kind of makes up for losing your Monkey King. Uh, not quite as much as you'd want, just because Summer is worth so much more gold. When you're putting dents in, like they've got really good aggressive vision now on Cactus, they're maximizing it well. They're still lining up for that top tier too. No one's around to stop Butterfly Effect. They've got wards here from LRNR to watch these movements across, though. So they do see it. Sentry ward just out of range of that ramp ward. So LRNR, LRNR should be able to drag themselves away from a forced fight. Or, well, they're under vision again. But they are. This is a, a rough position here. The lonely rock and roll is uh, when how is going to go down. Zombies are still chasing as well, giving the information away. It's not going to matter because Cactus, they do back their way out, but it's an AK advantage. 23 to 6, I believe, is the scoreline. Uh, kind of hard to see a comeback happening. Like, again, Big Cat is still trying to farm this Radiance. It's such a slow process. It is. It, it's still... I don't know, like, I don't know if this is worth the wait. You know, not like CS2, that was worth the wait. It should be worth the wait. Yeah. This a aim radiance, it doesn't feel like it's got the same impact. You know, it's it's no volumetric smoke, Mike. It's it's none of that. <laughs> Someone's been playing Counter-Strike. I've been playing way too much, dude. <laughs> I've been playing way too much. I have grown hey, I to love the Negev. I am a Negev player on CT. I hold angles and I hold my fire button. That's it. <laughs> I'm terrible. TZY. Doom's out. Arrow does connect, but Summer bound to strike there to try and protect in fact. Why? He does find the Tusk kill. It's a good start. Can they find something to trade? They will pick up Wen Hao, but it's still a pretty big win here for, for Lonely Rock and Roll. Nice nice pick up there onto the post three Tusk. And that's just going to be it. Everyone else just backs off. It, it's just such a massive cooldown to commit for. Right, you, do, you don't manage to take the follow-up fight off the back of that. You're forced to retreat immediately. So you're trying to hit and run with such a long cooldown spell. Like, it, this is the play, but it also doesn't feel great. Because you kind of want to find more when you commit that Doom. Because that's going to be your bread and butter in these fights. You're not killing off something like the Monkey King. You're not killing off the SF. And these feel like higher priority targets than just TZY's Tusk. So this should be an opening now for Cactus, seeing that the Doom is down. There's really nothing to worry about if they get the jump here. Well, lift up. They found the Marana. They'll take the arrow, but they actually miss after the, the, uh, the lift. Pochi leaps away. It's going to save him from TZY. And Shards will be off the mark anyway. So they've got arrow now at the very least. So there's one kind of little bonus from that, that mishap here from Fish King, but we'll see if they can capitalize. They are running right towards Y on the Doom. Again, he doesn't have Doom. PKB is going to be back up for him, though. Has some protection to at least bail out of here if he sees that opportunity, but... Moonlight was there. Oh. Dust has been popped. Y did avoid the Tusk range, though, so they will not see the Doom. He's okay. And Lonely Rock Roll, I mean, they're doing a good job of buying a lot of time. Like, you still have this Doom Midas, who's going to be really, really just farming quite effectively here. And, of course, Big Can with the Radiance now. He's getting there. John, he's, he's going for an Aghanim Scepter. Oh, it. my God. This is actually <laughs> the most obnoxious AM build. Like, this is actually just full-on annoy the hell out of your enemies with a Blink Fragment. Yeah. Like, the only thing that could make this perfect is something like, I don't know, the Fusel up as well. Why? Classic went for the Midas on a Jungle Creep. Uh... BKB does yeah. not give you free parthing, sir. And he will drop. It's pretty big. Forcing BKB down to seven seconds. Kill off the Doom while Doom was, what, two seconds away from cooldown? So, find that window. 
they can just keep shutting down the map. I don't know if this is enough for high ground. They don't have Aegis. Roshan respawn is still a ways off. Uh, 40 seconds until we see that timer. So probably not enough to push onto the high ground, but more than enough to shut down the map. Mind you, LRNR, they are playing down bot. They're using the space well. Big Can is, despite all this, farming really nicely as well in the AM. It's only a matter of whether or not Radiant's Blink Fragments are annoying enough that your enemy will not want to play this game anymore. I mean, they are certainly annoying, that's for sure. I, mean, I, I remember when this Ags came out on AM, I was like, how could they possibly, like, how do they actually find a way to make AM more annoying as a right? hero? And that was it. It's like, it could have been anything else. Just so annoying. Just so damn annoying. Like, it's infuriating. I, like, all the supports would just be like, all right, I'm burning down. You're taking my mana away. I can't even burst your illusions down with these heroes. Yeah. And then he does that like two, three times. He gets a couple of charges. Yeah, three times. And you're like, yeah, all right. Yep. That's my gameplay. I hate this game. You know? <laughs> Done. It's like, I don't want to play this. I don't. What can you do, John? It happens. It happens. Ah. <sighs> mm. I mean, they could have given this axe to Ark Warden, John, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> Can you imagine if he had something like a pulling fragment on? I would, I would, I would do not want to play that game. I'd rather, I'd rather play against a gambler or something, you know. I'd rather do that. Bring gambler back. Uh, it could be Bring it back. Come on, it's been long enough. Ah, uh, I was so disappointed that Muerta's kit didn't have something like. Remember when we were theory crafting that she had like a 10% chance to literally kill anyone across the map, including her teammates? Oh, yes. That yeah. would have been fun. That was you, by the way. Big can. Does get caught. Fear is there, but he's got time to blink away. They don't have enough damage. Uh, that Why, though? He jumped nothing. in. Yeah, he doomed for nothing. He'll hurricane himself out of there, it, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think, because they have Ooh. plenty of mobility. So why? I mean... Props to him for trying to save his anti-mage. Problem is, Big Ken was fine on his own. Yeah, they did manage to time that fear really well from the Requiem coming out from Butterfly Effect. And it did clip him, but they just didn't have enough follow through stun at that point to keep Big Ken locked in. Still, they find something for the trouble. They force the Doom out. They force another BKB usage out from our Doom as well. And Roshan is open. So, I mean, this is not going to take too long at all. Like, this is just going to melt. Yeah, it's Look at that. Will. Roshan is just gone. No contest. All the items will go the way of the SF. Happy oh. days for him. Bottom. Real. Trying to fight. Butterfly effect literally could not care less. He'll just keep going. I don't understand the point of the BKB. Nevertheless, he is dead as when Hal also gone now. It appears everyone just panic presses BKB when uh, when they're about to die to physical damage in this game. No. I mean, it's a wasted charge. Ooh, the arrow. Ooh. Good read from Bachi. That's cheeky. That's a cheeky arrow. Stops the chase on our Doom, so Y gets the bail out. But with the Aegis on hand now for the side of Cactus, there should be another opportunity to go high ground. Like, there, there is literally nothing stopping them. Big can. I mean, do they know that the, uh, the the shards is up, so you've got that inbuilt fear now against the AM, which can make a difference, but here, here's the acronym yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why Big Can decided during game three, I'm just going to annoy the living crap out of the enemy, but that's what he's decided. <laughs> uh, this is... Uh, I, I need to see him use it. I need to see Big Can literally... Plop himself in the lane and just harass the support. That's it. I need to see this. <laughs> it's can, not even please. a good axe. That's what annoys me about it. It's an annoying axe. That's literally it. It's yeah. not... I don't think it's, like, the worst axe in the game, but it certainly isn't, like, amazing. It's just annoying. I mean, the it's... worst axe in the game goes to Bloodseeker, as we all know, John. No, it worked, Mikey. I, I saw. I heard. I heard it worked. <laughs> Did you? I heard it had worked, Mikey. You can't say that. Bloodseeker X, baby. Me and Jenkins for theory crafting. It's it's pretty terrible, but it's funny. Tier 3 tower, bottom lane going down. That's not too funny. At least not 
for Ooh. Moonwalk Rolls. They do get jumped immediately by TZY. They've lost real. Wise popped his BKB, but he's just trying to fight. Here come those fragments, by the way, John. Look They're at them go. They're not doing anything. <laughs> so much oh impact. God. Jump in. No, oh. it's just a fragment. The, the idea is, because he's got Radiance, he's getting extra value out of it. The problem is that doesn't mean it's good. You know? Yeah, no. Nah. No. <laughs> Certainly not. It is just... It's not doing anything at all. It's, uh, it's an interesting experiment. But... Yeah, it's yeah. That's that's so much gold invested to this. Uh, is it a meme? I want to call it a meme. I mean, it has to be a meme, right? Jump in. Doom is there. Tzy gets caught. He doesn't really mind. He'll just walk right out of there. Summer in the meantime just pops the Wukong's command, and sadly they are going to get nothing out of the Doom committal as they continue on to the mid racks. Now maybe if they overstay their welcome, maybe you have a chance and trying to fight back here as they are going to move in. Winhel does at least sit up on the Undying, but Requiem is out. Real has been caught once again, and Real just gets blown up. As Ju Mi, he is still alive. He'll make it out, big can. Oh, he's running. He's going to make it just barely. Winhel is still desperately trying to do something for his team. They do at least kill off the Rubik. Butterfly effect though is popping off. TZY just punches Wen Hao, gets rid of him. He will tie to the tier 3 tower. Summer. Summer's getting harassed by AM illusions here, John. Yeah, he just, <laughs> you know, he couldn't care less. That's, that's his gameplay. You see the, yep. the enemy? Press blink fragment, hope for the best. And by the way, John, yep. I did some math. I did some yep. math for your sake, because I know you hate doing math. Yep. This combination... Cost 8.9k. This Radiant mm. Agonim Scepter AM cost 8,900 mm. gold. Those two items just to make, just to make this happen, just to use blink fragments Ooh. and do 55 damage per second with some mana drain. Mm. I would say that not worth, for sure. But it's fun. <laughs> yes, thank you, John. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like that entire bit connect meme with Carlos Matos. <laughs> This is Big Can going, hey, 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 walking up with this. He's like, hey, hey, hey. Big and Can? it's like, yeah, all right, that's it. I mean, that, that is literally it. Like, he just walked in, hit him once, used the Blink Fragment, and just backed out again. Like, okay, this isn't working. Real? Well, this may not work out for him either. When Hal gets caught, Real gets caught. Here come the Blink Fragments. They are literally tickling Butterfly Effect right now. They are trying to chase the real one down. Run, Big Can, run. Fear is there, but can they lock him down? I don't think they can. He is wasting quite a bit of time, at the very least, G. as they call it. They G. call it G. They don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't oh, spot real. them. You know what? I guarantee real didn't even ask his team. I guarantee yeah. real didn't